um, yeah, man, I mean, to, to get through the first round like this, I mean, uh, what kind of confidence booster do, do you guys have going into round two, knowing uh, how well things worked out for you in this game? Well, I mean, we got confidence because, I mean, we're going to have to have confidence. We have to trust in ourselves. We're going to be able to move on. Um, we beat trial early in the year, so we're going to have to feed off of that. And we're just going to have to carry the defense we had in the second half of this game over to that game because the second half we allowed 10 points. And once we have our defense clicking, then our offense isn't, doesn't have to be perfect. We don't have to score every time. Yeah, I mean, when you talk about going on a 23-0 run, that's something pretty uh, – pretty unusual so how do you guys kind of sit back and realize maybe that's not something that's going to happen every game but but it's good to know that your defense can be tested in that way well yeah we're not gonna hold we're not gonna go on a 23-0 run against Shiloh they're just they're too good of a team to do that so we're just gonna have to uh, just know that we have we can play good defense we're gonna have to keep the energy we're gonna have to keep ball pressure we're just have to be there and just it's just defense is, is hostile defense is effort I mean you got to know where to be, but defense is most of that. I know you guys came out a little slow shooting the ball in the first half. What do you feel like that was a testament to? Was it just kind of getting used to things? Were they, you know, doing something defensively that caught you off guard, or what was that uh, accounting for? It wasn't def there defensively. They, well, I mean, we figured they would play man. They came out 1-3-1 one, one for about one possession. But it was just, I think it was just our nerves being in the stage. None of us have ever played it in the state tournament before, so it was just being here. It was our first moment. We just had to settle in. But once we hit that three to go into the, going to halftime, that's when the, that's when the flip switch. Yeah. Um, when you talk about tomorrow, obviously you guys have played Shiloh and beaten them. What do you have to do to, to beat them again? Obviously, it's not going to be an easy test. But what what are going to be the keys for you guys? Well, we're going to have to play good defense on their bigs. They have two big, good big guys that we're going to have to stop. We're going to have to minimize some of their shooters. We're just going to have to play our style of basketball. We're just going to have to move the ball around to execute and keep up the defense that we had in the second half today. When you talk about none of the guys on this team ever being in the state tournament or playing in the state tournament as many minutes as you guys are playing right now, what does it mean to go to the semifinals? Well, it's a big thing because I don't think we've been here. I don't think we went to the state tournament years back but we never won the first game so it's a big it's a big accomplishment getting past this because now I mean we're playing to go to the state championship which is this is a I mean it's a dream all of us we've had for a long time so.